All right, it's Roger and Chad again. We've had to really do some soul searching on this spindle nut, axle nut we had. So, uh, cheater bar didn't work. I didn't want to go buy another cheater bar and break it. So, we went to Harbor Freight and bought the Earthquake XT three quarter inch air tool with 1700 foot pounds of torque. All right. We tried that to start off with, just taking it off with the tool, that didn't work. So um, we went back to the drawing board. I had Chad Google and YouTube some stuff, how to remove off of stuck axle nuts. So what we could find was that just torque alone not going to do it. You have to heat it up. So what we did was I took my torch with map gas because it said propane just wouldn't work. So I had map gas. I set my torch up right here to where the flame would come out and the tip of the blue flame would hit on my spindle nut. And as I did that, as it started getting hot, I just kept applying wax to where the spindle nut right there meets the spindle threads. I would heat it up and just leave the torch on there for about 10 minutes and let it sit and come back do some more wax. I did this for about three or four cycles um, and kept the heat on it for maybe 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, once I did that, we went back to the, the air gun, stuck it on there, and I could see some slight movement, so I just kept hammering away with it, and eventually it came off. So um, this is what we're after right here, is we have to get a whole new assembly that's got the rotor and inside the bearings is the problem as we heard from the spinning earlier so we cleaned up the spindle I don't feel any kind of grooves or damage on there you know we cleaned it off with some steel wool so I think we're good to go there so we're going to load up the truck head to Napa and get us some of these new rotor with wheel bearing assemblies new uh, spindle nuts uh, new brake pads and stuff like that that way we're doing the whole front end so that way when when Chad's at college he won't have to worry about front end suspension repair uh, brake issues or anything like that the truck will be good to go for the next several years so anyway uh, once we get it all worked in we'll do another up video that shows everything that we've done and hopefully we won't have any noise and we'll go from there thanks everybody for tuning in bye all right 